Hello everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title, I'm going to be talking about my top 10 favorite Gambian foods. I don't even know if this is exactly 10, it's probably more than 10, but this is all the foods that I can come up with that I've been introduced to whilst living in Gambia. If y'all ain't ever been in Gambia or tried any of these foods, just let me put you on because these foods all have such flavors and spices that I've never tried before prior to living in Gambia and let me just tell you I'm so grateful that I live here because these foods are just amazing so without further ado let's get right into the video this is in no particular order at all these are just things that was coming off the top of my head number one I'm gonna have to say is pen kit and that is basically like puff puff and I think they call it puff puff in Nigeria it's like, think of, they're pretty much pancake balls, basically. You just get pancake, make your pancake mix, and you make it into a ball, drop it in the oil, and then just serve it just like that. Nice, warm, it's so good, and just crispy on the outside, fluffy on the inside, and it's so good, and you don't even need syrup on it, but it's good with syrup, even. So you can put syrup on top of it, and it's so good. Next, I will have to say is akara. And when I asked somebody what it was made out of, they told me that it's made out of like beans. I think like rounded up beans and then they fry it. And then it's like a chicken nugget. At first when I saw it, I thought it was a chicken nugget. And then it was like, no, it's, it's beans. And so I tried it and it is so good. Especially with the sauce that they serve it with in the bread, it is so good. I remember when I first tried it, literally like the week after, that's all I was eating for the whole week. It was, um, I think me and my brother and my mom, my mom was walking us to school. So we were getting breakfast on the way and there's a lady she sets up and she sells different things, which is common here in Gambia, for those of you who do not know. Women will be setting up, particularly in the morning time and selling bread and different uh, sauces and stuff you can put in the bread. So me and my brother, we were just trying something new and my mom, then I tried Accra for the first time because it looked like chicken nuggets. It was actually beans and it was just so good in the sauce. And like literally every day after that, every morning before school, I would get some akura and it was just so good. And my mom loved it, my dad loved it. It was just a new flavor and something so different. Like I've never thought beans could be like that and resemble a chicken nugget, you know what I mean? So it was just crazy. And I think that would be a really great alternative if you're like vegan or vegetarian and maybe you want something that resembles a chicken nugget, but you don't want chicken nugget and you can make it taste even like a chicken nugget. I think that is a good thing. That is a good uh, alternative. So yeah, Accra is just something so good. And the sauce, just, I love that sauce. I gotta learn how to make it. Also guys, not only was I introduced to foods, but I was also introduced to like new drinks that I've never tried before. And as I mentioned, not all of the stuff that I'll be listening is completely Gambian. It's just things that are in Gambia and very popular in Gambia. So with that being said, one thing that I was introduced to while living here was this drink called Vimto. And oh my God, that drink was my new favorite drink after I tried it for the first time. It was, it's just so good. It's pretty much just like a berry soda. Um, I think it's from the UK. I think it's made in the UK, I don't know, but it's very popular, popular here. It's like a raspberry berry flavor. It's just so good. And let me just give you a quick little backstory and like hi, like, found out about Vimto. So basically, I think it was like within like the first week that we came, we moved to Gambia. We had went to this one restaurant that my parents had went to on their first trip to Gambia, their vacation here. It was called Time Inn. And this was, if you guys know, you know, uh, there was a restaurant called Time Inn at Turntable. This is when they were at Turntable. They're not there anymore. Anyways, we went there and it, that whole night was just crazy because when we ordered our food, it took so long. That was literally the longest I've ever waited on my food ever in my life and in Gambia, like, and y'all know in Gambia, like it takes very long sometimes for your food to get done because they like to make everything from scratch. But that night, y'all, I'm not even joking. It was at least like an hour and a half, almost two hours that we were waiting. I was falling asleep. I was so irritated and just ready to go home. I didn't even want the food no more. All of us, it was just annoying. They should have gave us the freaking food for free at that point. Anyways, I'm digressing, but they asked me what drink I wanted. I said Fanta. And you guys know, if you're in Gambia, you do not say Fanta, you say Fanta. That's the way you say it. Because if you say Fanta, they're not gonna know what you're talking about. I'm gonna just tell you straight up because they do not say Fanta here. 
and I got made a, made fun of so many times. So I don't even let Fanta leave my mouth when I'm ordering that drink. I gotta say Fanta. So yeah, when I was saying Fanta to them, I guess they heard it as Vimto. So I was like Fanta, and it was like Vimto. I was like, no Fanta. And he said, okay. So he comes out with the drink, and it's still a Vimto. And I literally told him that I wanted a Fanta. So I was like, okay, whatever. I saw the little berries on it. So I was like, it must be a good drink because berry soda, whatever. So I tried it and literally it changed everything. It's such a good drink and I was addicted to drinking it after a while. So yeah, if you ever, ain't never tried Vimto before, make sure you try it if you have the chance to. It is so good and I'm glad I had that little experience. And I literally talk my friend's head off every time if I order a Vimto or something. I always gotta tell that story, they know. I know Gabby knows for sure. I always told her that every single time when she came here, that whenever she would order Vimto, like I would tell her that story behind it. But yeah, bomb drink, love it. Next, I would have to say is, um, I already said this before, but the sauce that they serve with the Akara, I'm not really sure what it's called, but it's really just like onions and different spices mixed up and it is so good. I just feel like you can eat that with anything, like sauteed onions, different, herbs and spices i don't know what they put in it i remember asking a friend for the recipe because i wanted to make it at home i cannot even touch gambia dishes i have not reached that stage yet to where i can really make it just yet but anyways so i had asked her what was the recipe her name is betty by the way so shout out to betty if you're watching this yahari her little sister yeah she showed me she first wrote down the recipe on paper and she wrote it then she said it in a voice note, a voice memo for me on my phone, so that step by step, so I'll be able to cook it at home. And that was just so sweet of her. And anytime I think of that sauce, I think of her and like how she told me like the recipe and stuff. It was so kind of her and so sweet. And she really wanted me to learn how to make it. It's a staple in a lot of Gambian dishes actually. And a lot of breads, it's so good. Next, I will have to say, of course, is Domara. You guys, if you're in America, if you've ever had peanut butter stew, which is within its name, it even just sounds crazy. When I first came here, that's what I heard, that's what they would be calling it. Because if you're a foreigner, you're not gonna know what domata is. They will say peanut butter stew to you at first. So yeah, domata is pretty much peanut butter stew, like peanut butter, tomato sauce, and all those other spices. And it is so good. And especially with some lime on top, it is so good. I would have never even have thought of eating like peanut butter and rice together. It just, it just sounded so disgusting, but when I first tried it at school, that's the first place I tried it. It was just a taste that I never had before. Literally, peanut butter, tomato, the spices, all combining together to just create this flavor in your mouth. It's just like, the lime on top just, <sighs> so good. Next, I'll have to say is chew or stew. That is my all-time favorite, favorite Gambian dish. I could eat that morning, day, and night. Like, I would eat that until I get tired of it, which I probably won't even get tired of it. It's just so good and it's like a sweet, tangy, spicy type of flavor with the onion sauce. You can have it with chicken, which is chu ganar, or you can have it with meat or beef, which is chu yapa. So yeah, that chu is so good. And I get excited anytime that like my friends uh, invite me over to eat and they, their mom or their aunt, whoever has made freaking chu, like literally it's just so good. Next, I'll have to say is chicken yasa. Of course, chicken yasa is so good. I remember when I first tried that too. And that too with lime on top. It's already made with lime, so it's just, it's got like that lime, chicken, oniony, spicy flavor that is just so good and you you cannot get enough of it. Next, I'll have to say is benichin. I love benichin. I think benichin is my mom's favorite too. She loves first and benichin. If I can compare benichin to something in America, I would have to say maybe Jambalaya, I don't know. Benichin is so good, especially when it's spicy. Oh my God, that's so good. And then they put all the different vegetables and stuff on top. You can have it with fish, you can have it with chicken, you can have it with meat. I prefer it with chicken. It's so good, I love me some benichin. And another thing like I just wanna mention, like with a lot of the gammy dishes, like something new that I tried that I didn't really try in America was like specifically the rice that they use here in the dishes. It's like broken up rice. In America, I think we're used to the long green rice. And let me just say, ever since me and my family ever tried the uh, broken up rice here, we never went back to the long green rice. It just doesn't taste the same. It's something about broken up rice and the way it just like molds so much better. And like, it's just, I don't know. It just 
is so much better than like the long grain rice to me. I, I was missing out on a lot in America. Next, I will have to say something so like kind of random, but it's common here, of course, is like tapalapa, which is a type of bread here. Um, specifically, tapalapa with omelet, but it's really like scrambled eggs inside of the tapalapa bread. It's just this really thick bread, it's chewy. I just love eating it. Tapalapa and omelet, when you order it at the shop and they make it for you, it's just, it's like they make it a certain way. I can't really make it the same way and make it taste the same way that they make it. So getting it from the shop from them, it just tastes so good. And I remember when I first tried it, I was in school, uh, Sebek, and I just saw everybody at lunchtime order, going to the shop across the street, coming back with some bread and like egg inside. So I asked one of my friends, what is that? And it was like tapalapa omelet. You asked the shopkeeper to make you tapalapa omelet. And so I did that and I tried it. And as you can see, a common thing that kept happening, once I tried one thing, literally the following days, it's like, I'm consistently trying it every single day. It's like, once you try it, you, it's like you need, you crave it. You gotta eat it every single day. Next, another popular Gambian dish served with rice is plasas. I love plasas. I remember going to Ajirohi's house and like trying it. I think that's the first place I tried it for the first time. <sighs> yeah, it's cassava leaves with different spices and everything. And it's just so good. That's one thing I have to say. Living here is easy if you're a vegetarian because a lot of the dishes are like made with a lot of like vegetables and these things. Although it has like a lot of rice and stuff, after a while that can become unhealthy, eating too much rice, I guess. But a lot of the dishes is like okra, vegetables, spinach, cassava leaves, um, carrots is a staple, cabbage, like a lot of vegetables is very much incorporated in a lot of the Gambian dishes. So I really like that. Speaking of that now, that leads me to my next thing that I tried here for the first time that was just so good is ebe. I remember when I first used to see like my friends at school eating it, I would be like, I think it looks so nasty. I'm not even gonna lie. I thought it looked so gross the way they would just be sucking on the, they eat it inside. Okay, so basically it's very common to eat ebe from a bag. Ebe basically is like a soup. If I could describe it, it's like a soup with like crab, fish, different type of seafoods, I guess. Um, cassava. So think of like soup in a bag and you're just sucking it. I don't know how people could do that. You're drinking soup. I tried it in the bag, but it just wasn't my thing. It was just messy. So I had it at school. I remember I was with my friend Rama Tzalai and uh, we had it at school. They were serving it in the bowl. And she gave me a lime, I ate it with the lime, and the lime just sets it off. Again, another common thing, lime is very great with gaming dishes, it's perfect. It's commonly sold, um, you can see it on the roads, people sell it. Another very, very popular Gambian street food is afra. It can be chicken afra or meat, like beef afra. My favorite is the chicken afra, so good, just so, so bomb, y'all. Especially when you had a long night out with your friends, and y'all just go there to kind of like sober up. You go to like a, a random Afro spot and you just eat and it's just so good. And especially the sauce they give with it is like a, a mustard sauce, not your typical mustard, but so good. And the onions, just so good, y'all. I, I You just gotta try it, okay? If you have the chance to, just look for an Afro spot in Gambia and try you some chicken Afro. So goddamn good. Next thing I wanna say uh, is chakri. I never tried that before coming here and it's so good. I think it's like yogurt with like, sometimes it's couscous or rice inside of it. And I would have never thought to have yogurt and like rice together or yogurt and couscous and all this stuff together. It's so good and it's sweet. And then you just have the stuff you can chew also inside. It's just so good. I love it. I love chakri best when it's super super cold like it's just a nice treat another thing i tried here that is very it's very similar to something in america is meat pies i never tried that prior to coming here what i can compare it to something that i've had in america would probably have to be like empanadas it's just like a pastry with like meat inside and like onions and different like spices and vegetables i can just imagine it being dipped in some like honey mustard or nacho cheese. I gotta try that. I'm sure meat pies would be so good and like nacho cheese. Oh my God. Next, another drink that I tried first coming here is wanjo juice. If you're in Jamaica, 
I think you guys call it sorel hibiscus in America. Now, wanjo is basically hibiscus, but I've never really thought that like I'd be trying something like that. It's like this tangy, sweet flavor. They, I think they add like sugar or uh, juice packets inside, and it's just so good, especially when it's like super, super cold or even frozen. It's a good frozen treat. I love it. I used to be obsessed with that until I freaking tried kaba juice. Kaba juice, frozen. Amazing. And you guys, if you follow me on Instagram and of course on some of my YouTube videos, when Gabby was here, that's all we was freaking eating as like our treats was kaba ice. Anytime we went to the market or saw it at the on the road or whatever, we just had kaba ice. It's such a good flavor. Just so good. And like the treat. They put like the kaba seeds inside of like the frozen kaba ice and you just chew it. It's just so good, y'all. I didn't say that like so many times, but really you have to try it. This is not really kaba season right now. I think kaba season is like in the summertime. I can't wait for it to come back because it's so good. I love me some kaba fruit, kaba ice. Even trying the kaba fruit is something very common here when you have the, the shell with the seeds and stuff inside the fruit. And you put like jimbo inside and sugar. I love me some kaba. And so yeah guys, that's pretty much all of my favorite like Gambian foods and things that I've been introduced to while living in Gambia. I just, I'm sure I'm forgetting some things, but these are like my top, top favorite things that I really do like. And it was just like, wow, this is a new flavor. So I'm very grateful that I've been introduced to these foods and I'm able to have the opportunity to try such a new flavor and different spices like Jimbo, Maggie, and you know, all of these different spices and flavors. I just love it and it's like once you try it, you don't go back to what you knew before because that's literally me on a daily basis. I add Jimbo to like everything when I'm cooking, Maggie to everything. It's just a flavor that just gives it an extra kick that you never knew you needed before, you know what I mean? There's a lot more food and drinks that I see here actually on a daily basis that I've never tried yet. So stay tuned for that video, guys. I will be doing like trying Gambian foods that I've never tried before, as well as like other African foods that I've never tried before. I love getting put on to new flavors and new dishes that I've never tried in my life. Love it. Let me know guys in the comments down below, what's your favorite Gambian food or African food in general that you've been put on to that you're just like, God dang, this is some good food. This is a good flavor. Like, oh my God. What's your favorite African food or African dish? Put it in the comments below, let me know. So maybe if I can find that here, I will also put that in the video of me trying different African foods. So yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in another video with me. I really appreciate it. We are growing by the day. I'm almost 50,000. I'm appreciating the support and the love. Thank you guys so much. Keep getting the word out, sharing my videos and you know, putting people on. Show them this video. If they've never tried Gambian foods before, show them this video and perhaps maybe they can when they come to Gambia, if they ever come to Gambia, they try these foods, they know which ones to go to. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot. Drop a comment, as I said, what's your favorite African food? I will see you guys all in my next video. Until next time, much love.